the 10 top mistakes I made in buying my first 10 wigs. Wig colors, probably one of the most important things that you can educate yourself on before investing in a wig. Today I'm coming to you from my living room because I wanted to have some great light for what I'm about to share with you. The wigs that I'm about to show you, the hair pieces I'm about to show you are, none of them in my estimation were cheap. Uh, none of them are human hair, but most of them were into the hundreds of dollars, except for the hair pieces. And those, a, a few of them were $75, $85. And that is because I wanted to have good quality hair. I wanted to have a good quality cap. But honestly, the main reason that I chose to purchase a wig was the color and the style. Now, I heard someone say years ago that... Um, the most important thing to understand is color and you know what I have found that to be true so this is wig school today uh, please don't click out because this truly is foundational for you to know before you select your first wig I'll try to do the best I can and this will probably be a two maybe even a three-part video um, to give you a thorough education on colors, shades, and other things that you need to know to be to make an intelligent wig choice. So this was the very first wig that I purchased. I've talked about her before and uh, she doesn't have a name. I've chosen to call her Lady Godiva. The reason I'm even showing her to you is because when I saw this online I thought that this color was so gorgeous, and I still think that this color is so gorgeous. So I'm looking for my comb. So beautifully styled. Now, when I got her home, I still liked the color, but I'm white. Does she look white? That's my color. She doesn't look pure white, and I was not that I was looking for pure, pure white, but she would have been fine. This color would have been fine for me, but number one mistake I made, I did not understand color. Number two mistake I made, I did not understand density. How much hair is on that wig? Number three mistake I made, the cap. I did not understand that some wigs come with a, uh, a lace cap and some do not. I didn't understand the actual, as it's called, denier, denier of the hair, the how it feels, how silky is it? Does it, does it really feel synthetic or does it feel like real hair? I didn't understand that price necessarily does not uh, equal value and vice versa. So there were other mistakes I made and I'll and I will get to that. But mostly today I want to concentrate on color. So with this wig, I probably would have loved her and worn her a lot if she didn't have so much hair. I mean, when you go from having thin hair, and by the way, I've got a piece on today. When you go from wearing from having thin hair to all of a sudden all this hair, uh, you tend to look a little costumey-ish, in my opinion, especially if you are an older woman. Let's face it, I'm an older woman. So that's basically it for uh, Lady Lady Godiva here. Oh, and the other thing I didn't understand was weight. How how heavy is it going to be on your head? I can guarantee you that this would be a wonderful hat in the middle of the winter. Matter of fact, that's probably how I could wear her if I was going skiing. I had a ski hat on. She'd look fabulous, right? But she sits in the box. I take her out and I wear her for my husband because he loves how she looks on me. And I covered that in another video. All right, let's move on. The second wig that I want to show you is, who are you? This is Belinda. Now, look at the difference in the colors between these two.
pieces. I don't know how your monitor shows, but my monitor shows Belinda as being more white. Lady Godiva over here looks more silver. And by the way, that's another thing that's very difficult is to find the right combination of silver and white. I hope that you'll take notes. I'm going to skip around a little bit, but I, but I want to do it as it comes into my head. The numbers that you want to look for, and other people have done videos similar to this, but I'm telling you, I want to go into great detail and fine tune this so that people can really know what they're getting. There's no true standardization that I can see across wig companies. If there is, I don't know about it, and I'd love for somebody to tell me if they have that information so that I could share it with, with you. But since I specialize, truly specialize in silver, gray, and white wigs, I think this is important to know. So there are here are the colors that you need to know about. And you know what? I'm going to pause for a minute. I want to put my earbuds in so that I don't sound like I'm in a hole. One moment. Look at the difference in these two colors, as we've already discussed. Here's the colors you need to know about. Color 51, which is gray with dark brown. We'll get to that. You don't want brown. Believe me, you don't want brown. Unless you're a warm gray, that's a whole nother discussion. If you're a cool, a cool gray or a cool white or a cool silver, you don't want brown. Stay away from brown or yellow. It'll just drag you down. Then number 54 is creamy white blonde gray. As soon as you hear blonde, what do you think of? You, you think of platinum, you think of yellow, you don't think of a silver gray, you think of a yellow gray. So I stay away because I'm cool, cool colors. I stay away from 54. And to be honest, I haven't seen 54 that much anyway. Maybe it's just because my eye isn't drawn to it. Number 56 is gray with brown blend. Did you hear the brown? I know I left you hanging there, but that was by design. Most of us don't like long videos, so I promise to come back with more on my color series. And in the meantime, you may want to take a look at a wig that I did not make a mistake on, and that was Eve by Envy. I love this wig. She's my most reviewed wig to date, and I'll put a card up there so you can learn all about her. In the meantime, if you like, give it a like. Subscribe, hit the little bell icon so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. This will more than likely be a three to four part series. Take good care. Thanks so much for watching.